Why do you want to conquer them? See, you will want to conquer something that you value, isn't it? Do you want to conquer something that you do not value? <laughs> See, why would you take the trouble of conquering something that's of no value to you? You must… if you want to conquer, would you want to go and conquer a wasteland or would you want to go and conquer a rich land? Rich land. If you are a king, what would you want to conquer? A rich kingdom you would like to conquer, not a wasteland. You don't want to go and conquer a desert, isn't it? So why do you want to conquer something that you don't want? I know, I understand <laughs> So first drop the idea of conquering. Right now are you angry? No. So why should you conquer it? It doesn't even exist. How do you control or conquer that which does not exist? Once in a way you get angry, isn't it? Why are you getting angry? Because suddenly your body your mind, your energies are not behaving the way you want them to. They're just doing their own nonsense suddenly. That's anger, isn't it? So anger is not in constant existence. That which is not in existence, trying to control or conquer that is just going to be a wasteful effort. Sometimes your mind turns unpleasant. One form of unpleasantness is called anger. Or in other words, sometimes you turn unpleasant. One form of your unpleasantness is referred to as anger, other forms of unpleasantness are called by many other different names. We'll just take anger as an example. Why would anybody make himself unpleasant? Why? There is sufficient unpleasantness in the world. Where is the need for you to make yourself unpleasant? Right now, you are in this kind of childishness that if situations around you are unpleasant, you will also become unpleasant. But you tell me, is there any intelligence in this? If especially if the situations around you are unpleasant, is it not all the more important that you must be very pleasant within yourself? Yes? Is it not all the more important? But right now you are in this mode, this childish mode that if outside situations turn unpleasant, you will make your insides also terribly unpleasant. There is no intelligence in this, isn't it? Somewhere, when it comes to ourselves, we are refusing to employ our intelligence. I am not telling you don't get angry, it's up to you. If it's a pleasant experience, get angry all the time. But generally whenever you get angry, you suffer more than your victim, isn't it so? Yes? What is the point? Why would you create unpleasantness to yourself? There is enough unpleasantness in the world. However you walk in the world, you will step into something unpleasant here or there, isn't it? Isn't it so? However you try to avoid, somewhere you will step into some unpleasantness. Is there necessity that you have to manufacture your own private unpleasantness? Is there such a need? No. So why are you creating things that you don't want? Why are you creating unpleasantness for yourself? You just don't know what you're doing with yourself. That's the only reason, isn't it? Absolutely, unconsciously you're trying to go on. You do one thing. With your eyes closed, right now try to drive to your home. You may make it one day, you know? One day you may make it. You may bump a few people and still make it home. But try for a few days, you will not live few days. Isn't it so? So right now it's just like that. You're trying to handle your well-being with your eyes closed. You will not know well-being, it doesn't matter what you do. You have to handle it with your eyes open, isn't it? <laughs>